absolutely phenomenal. I mean, some of the magic that's in this camera. And that, and that's... Good morning. Well, I've finally taken the plunge. Canon R5. Yeah, it just had to be done, I'm afraid. You know, I've seen a few things around. There's a few people I can blame for this. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but it looks like a phenomenal bit of kit. So this morning, come out. Um, we've just come out somewhere where we know we're going to see things. Uh, so, you know, down to the, to the local reserve. We know there's going to be things around just to test it out. Um, I've set it up how I think I want it. I've been playing around a little bit at home in the garden over the last few nights. Um, so yeah, I think we're, we're pretty good to go. Uh, taking a bit of getting used to because the buttons are in a bit of a different place from the, uh, the old 5D Mark IV. But I think we're getting there. So come out to give it a good test, try and get some birds in flight, um, some birds on the ground, all sorts of different things. Um, and yeah, just try and get used to it a little bit. From an initial look at it, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, some of the magic that's in this camera, and, that, and that's the only thing I can class it as is magic, because the autofocus system is, well, nothing I've ever seen before. Absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, I think I'm really gonna, really gonna have some fun with this. So um, I'm gonna do a bit of a uh, few shots, a bit of video, and see what we can bring you just to test this out really um, so let's see what we can find These little uh, coots there, just so busy nest building. He's been bringing an army of uh, materials to the nest. He's been really working hard. So here's my first lesson with this camera. It's complicated. It's not complicated, but it's different. I mean, once you get used to it, it'll be fine. But what I've learned is that no matter how much you set it up at home and how much you take shots in the garden or whatever before you start, before you come out into the real world, when you get out into the real world, it's a different ball game completely. You know, I'm fumbling for buttons and 
I'm not doing too bad, I don't think, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to find the right button at the right time. Oh, hang on, we've got a warbler. Typical example, fumbling for the buttons, trying to take a photo of the warbler, sitting perfect on top of the bush for me in the open. I'm on video mode. I'm pressing the button thinking, why isn't the shutter going? I'm on video mode. Oh well, I might have got a bit of video if nothing else, I suppose. But yeah, it's like, the real world is completely different. It's not going to be difficult. It's just, yeah, these warblers are flying all around me. It's not going to be difficult um, to get used to, you know, but it's going to take time, you know, getting used to... I'm used to just being able to pick where I want to hit the buttons. I know where the buttons are without even looking at them on the back of the camera uh, on my 5D Mark IV. This has obviously got a slightly different setup, a little bit of a more complicated setup. I've got two focus um, methods set up on the back of the camera. So I've got back button focus, but I've got the normal back button focus. But then I've also got the animal eye as well. Um, so you're trying to switch between those two and get it right. Um, that can be quite a challenge as well. So, but yeah, it's going to take a bit of practice, a bit of time, but uh, hopefully we can make something. We just had a heron just land right in front of us while I was standing down here. Um, a little bit overexposed in a couple of areas because I couldn't find the the, um, the button to actually exposure compensate that I'd set up. I'd set it up on one of the dials. So uh, I think we might have just blown out a little tiny bit of it. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a bit. These warblers are all around me. So this would be quite nice if we get some nice images of the warblers.
Well, it's been a real learning experience with this new R5 camera. Um, I mean, it's, I have to say, first impressions, it's absolutely phenomenal. Oh. Sorry, something's just cleared all the birds off. I think it's a sparrow hawk by the looks of it around. Um, picked a great time to do it. <laughs> um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the, the focusing on it is, is tremendous, the animal eye focusing. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping I've got some decent shots. I mean, I've actually put the 1.4 converter on as well. So um, it doesn't seem to be degrading the performance at all. But hopefully, you know, when I see the shots, you know, that'll prove out. Um, so I hope there's no issues. But yeah, absolutely great. I'm really looking forward to bringing some more stuff with this. The video on it is great as well. We can focus track in slow motion as well, which is absolutely superb. Um, so I hope you like the video. Um, and if you do, you know, please click a like on the button below for me and please do subscribe and see what I bring with this with this new R5 because I'm really hoping it's going to be uh, some pretty good stuff to be honest. Um, still need the wildlife around because without the wildlife you can't do it. But yeah, we've had a good practice on some fairly easy subjects today, you know, the gulls and that sort of thing. Uh, the turns with the fish, look, look, I'm hoping look pretty good as well. Um, but whatever you're doing, have a great day and I'll catch up with you with my R5 again soon. Bye for now.